Hi, we're Jerry and Diana. Recently, we bought a vintage travel trailer to redo, but the trailer was way too much work, so we bought another trailer, a 2014 Whitewater Retro 155. Today, we're taking it camping for a second time ever. This time, we're on the Olympic Peninsula in Washington State on the Strait of Juan de Fuca. It's time for a trailer tour and to take the long way home. You didn't have to, but just wandering off and looking the other direction was funny. <laughs> Where are we? Crescent Beach. We are at Crescent Beach. On the Olympic Peninsula. Yes, about... Washington State. How far from Port Angeles? Probably about 20 minutes. Hey, about 20 minutes outside of Port Angeles, yeah. Washington. That's a guess. Okay. And so this is a private beach. So some might call it a resort. They let us in. So it's not that private. It's not that up. Not as private as it should be. Yeah. They didn't even question it. And it is August and this is our weather. Yeah. So welcome to Washington State. And it's raining at home. It's not raining here. Yes. A little cold and wet, but not raining. Yep. I have so much hair in my mouth. <laughs> I like I swallowed my entire head of hair. Here's my new spice system. And then this is my new comforter on my bed. It's hard to make it very well because it's too big. All comforters are too big in this little space. And this is all my stuff. All right, we haven't figured everything out. I did come up with a way to do the snacks though. I want everything in containers so we don't get bugs and mice. And so I put it all in containers and found out we have way too many snacks. I am making dinner. We are having hamburgers. So I'm prepping and Jerry's barbecuing. So the, the meat's are almost done. Okay, I need at least two minutes. What's that? I need about two minutes. Okay. Oh, we're settling in for dinner. We're eating inside because it's kind of lucky out. It's a nice thing about having the trailer. When it's yucky, you can say, huh, let's just go eat inside. It's cozy. It's very cozy. You're really squished in there. Maybe um, we should trade sides. I got room. Okay. Good morning. It is our second day at Crescent Beach, and we are gonna run into town for some things we need to pick up. What you working on, hun? I am going to shove some other stuff in here while we go to town. So Jerry took the door off so that we had more room in here because the door just goes in the way of the fridge and the way of everything. So took a door off and I ordered this shower curtain I thought was cool because it was woodsy, you know, it's got trees and matches the gray in here and the gray that we'll use when we Change all the colors. A new blanket, but I brought the throw blanket from my room because I thought it was cute. This is our first real RV trip because this is our first on-grid camping. We've 
camped with this trailer once off grid. We never camped with the truck this way and we've never camped with a tent or anything where we had electricity and water. So that's been a big change for us. See, look at all that. That looks like water and electric. Keep shutting lights off because it just seems wrong and yet it doesn't really matter. Um, oh, and this is our gray water tank. So it's already about halfway full, but Jerry's got, or a third of the way, but Jerry's got another one. We can always switch it out. This has been the troublemaker. It all worked at home, but not so much here. How's it going with the propane? Oh, the propane <laughs> broke. No worky. No worky. That's the gauge of the regulator. So our stove inside the camper is not working. The hot water isn't working. And we don't have a heater. Is that right? Well, you won't have a furnace either. We won't have a furnace, but we're used to sleeping in the back of a truck. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? We have the Coleman stove, so the stove situation is neither here nor there. We still keep a cooler for drinks. You do have to see this, though. Our canopy is humongous. Ridiculous. For, for it's the, ridiculous. The site. Well, for the trailer, you know, it's as big as the trailer. <laughs> Bigger. And then they have fire pits, and even though there's a burn ban, in those pits, it's still legal to burn, so... We're going to... otters? What is that? Those are otters. Are they otters? Those are otters. They're not beavers? No, those are otters. You they're said there were kids otters. out there before. If there's otters in here, it means there's fish in here. There they go. Yep. Look at them sliding into the water. <laughs> ah. Okay, I didn't expect that. Um, they look like they're having a blast. Uh, leveling blocks? Leveling blocks! So now, I don't know if that's the official title. But he pulls up on those and we level out. Well, nice. Slogan for Port Angeles is where the mountains meet the sea, and it really does here. We happen to be back at this little store. Grape juice, grape juice! I don't know, I see my grape juice. Yeah. He's got two, that's how many I'm buying. didn't see the previous video you see it is grape drink with pulp which means there's little cut up grapes inside the grape juice it's so good I had it first in Japan when I was 14 and <laughs> you blew your nose on camera last time um, <laughs> somebody's relaxed anyway um, What'd you marinate it in? It was Montreal steak seasoning marinade with five and corn. And how long did you marinate it? Well, it's Friday night, Thursday morning. Yeah. 36 hours? Yeah, it might be a little spicy. Um, it doesn't have like heat to it, it's just really good. Okay, because Montreal has a little heat. have been on here though. Are those otters? I think this is all otters. Oh, they're pretty big. Well, some of them are big, but a lot of them are little. 
Like yeah. that. that. That's otter, I think. <laughs> that's where we're camping. Jerry caught the salmon. Andy cooked the salmon. How is it? It's good. Oh. The sockeye is superior. We're headed to the beach to watch the sunset. Last night here. Time, but you can't see the point. <laughs> a little fogged in. We are at Clallam Bay County Park. We're trying to find like you know a camping type park, but we just found the county one here. It is no overnight. It also doesn't have beach access. There's a really cool bridge, and it just is like broken off. <laughs> I'd like to hear the backstory on that one. Shipwrecks here. Just a few. Oh, Diamond Knot. That's the name of a restaurant we have in Makaltillo. Lots of shipwrecks. We stopped in the booming metropolis of Forks, Washington, to come by the beach. Everything's on a first come, first serve. Oh. No reservation. Okay, the teriyaki chicken's good. Oh, salad? I don't know. <laughs> this pizza is a cascade of cheese. Beach, and there is a little mist. <laughs> 